guys, Beth Butati here, and we are just going to do this real quick tutorial. Um, this uses five colors from Mad Styles Cosmetics, um, Love and Rockets, Blister in the Sun, Boognish, Strange Potion, and Kick-Ass. Um, it started off as just a bright, sunny look, inspired by, obviously, sunshine, and kind of put a little bit sultry and spicy when I added in the Kick-Ass, because it is a deeper red. Um, so, I was going to originally call it Here Comes the Sun, inspired by the one and only Beatles, but, you know, um, I don't know what I'm going to call it now, so it'll be in the, the title bar. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. Um, but yeah, it's just a very spicy, sultry, sun-based look um, with bright pink cheeks and a nude lip. Uh, feel free to substitute out any of those options. Um, this is specifically for the eyeballs. So, um, you can get all these colors from Mass Style Cosmetics. Their link is always in the down bar of any of my videos. And I hope you guys like this tutorial. Let's get started. I have some old makeup on, but that's not a big deal. Um, we're just going to go ahead and prime the lid using the um, Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil. Pretty much the same primer I always use. And that old makeup is kind of going to serve as a guide for um, our eyeliner. And this is something that if you struggle with um, winged eyeliner, um, the best thing you can do is start off with something that's easier to take off, like a regular old eyeliner pencil, and then go over it with like a gel or liquid eyeliner. Um, so we'll get to that in a minute. We're going to start off with a crease brush, and I'm going to start off with the color Love and Rockets. Uh, this is from Mad Style Cosmetics. Actually, there are five colors here today from Mad Style Cosmetics, so if you want to um, replicate, I said replicate and duplicate at the same time. If you wanted to create this look yourself, you could just uh, do the five for 20 and get these five colors and you'd be able to do it. Um, but this is just going on the inner corner above and below the eye. Don't be afraid to put too much on there because it is a very sheer but gorgeous duochromatic um, white color. Maybe I should pay attention to what I'm doing instead of talking. So you're going to want to put that on your inner corner. As you can see, like I said, it's very, very sheer. So if you want more of a white color there, put on more milk in the beginning. Um, but I'm okay with this. And I don't have any um, concealer on right now, so I apologize for the dark circles under my eyes. And then next we are going to take the color Blister in the Sun. Uh, I believe this one just became discontinued, so if you're going to get this, make sure you get it really soon. Um, it's a gorgeous yellow with red um, reflex in it, like red glitter. Um, she does have other yellow colors, though, so if you don't have this one, don't panic. Um, you can just get, like, Princess Buttercup or something. Um, I just really like this yellow. So we're going to take that on a uh, regular old shader brush. This is just the e.l.f. $1 shader brush. And you're going to start packing this all over next to the Love and Rockets to about halfway on your eye. And you're going to want to kind of pack it up on the crease as well. And I just realized I don't know if I was on camera for that or not. Alright, so once you've got the color as pigmented as you'd like, go ahead and grab um, another flat shader brush. And now I'm grabbing Boognish, which is just this like really pretty bright orange color. We're going to take this and put this all the way over to the outer corner. And again, you're blending it up into the crease some, and you're not really going to go out past that outer corner. And you are going to blend it over some of the blister in the sun. Just to blend it, you know. So you're going to have something like that. And then we are going to grab a, a crease brush. Um, this is like a blending crease brush. I got this from Target for like two bucks. It's a really good brush, actually. Um, and then we're going to grab Strange Potion, which is a um, duochromatic orange and pink. Um, when you foil it, it is amazing. Uh, it looks really cool dry, too, though. So I'm using it dry today. And we're going to take this and just work this into the crease and blend across. I'm going to blend that up towards, um, oh, I forgot to put Love and, Rocket, Love and Rockets up into my highlight, but we can add that in a second. Um, so this is going to blend up to the Love and Rockets and over to the inner corner, giving us this pretty color here. And this is going to become very, very important when we blend this bright color up into the um, orbital bone. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my crease brush from the very beginning and put some of that Love and Rockets underneath of my eyebrow that I forgot to do. Don't know how I did that. This is just a basic highlight, so you're just working it up into your brow bone on the highest part. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and grab that crease brush again and just blend up. Okay. I'm not quite satisfied with the color, so I'm going to grab a little bit more. I lost a bit of my boot niche, too. I don't know what I did different that time, but um, we're going to add a little bit more boot niche. Maybe I didn't have enough to begin with. Because I realize I'm making really stupid faces on camera. Okay, now that my boot niche is brighter, we can blend this again. There we go. Still not quite as bright as the other side. I'm not sure how I screwed that up, but... It's not coming out nearly as bright. And then we're grabbing another one of the, um, they call this their contour brush. This is from Elf from the Studio line. Um, it's essentially a, um, dense, cr uh, crease brush. And we're going to grab Kick-Ass, which is this gorgeous, uh, shimmery red color. This is highly, highly pigmented. Um, I will get fallout with this because I'm very messy with it. But we're just taking this underneath. And then up and then around. So as you can see, that's why it was so important to make sure you brought up the strange potion. Um, otherwise, this would be a bit of a color shock. The side's a lot messier than the other. I don't know what it is about my left eye, but it always turns out messier. I think it's because I do it on camera. <laughs> We're going to grab Revlon's uh, Color Stay. And from where we have those lines before, those are really great guidelines, so it makes it really easy. John's being creepy, if you guys can hear him. So we're going to lightly support the eye, don't tug. John, stop, you're creeping me out. And I brought my eyeliner in a little far, on the inside. No matter what I do, I cannot do eyeliner on camera. It's like not physically possible for me. So I like the way this one turned out a lot better than this one, but whatever. I'm not capable of doing eyeliner on camera. I think I've talked about this many times. <laughs> cannot do it on camera for some reason. And then I'm taking my Almay eyeliner and just watering my waterline. I'm going to throw in a little bit of mascara. I already have some on, but kind of got drowned out by the pigments. And so I'm just going to grab what I used earlier, which is Marc Scandalash. And you're done. Um, you could pair this with, if you wanted, you could go with a bright red lip. Um, that'd be very, very bold, though. I've been on a nude lip kick, so I'm going to go ahead and go grab some um, nude lipstick out of my purse. And I'll be right back for that. I'm with the matte nude look, so it's really important to make sure your lips are hydrated. So I'm just using my Mad Style Cosmetics Lip Balm in Pumpkin King. I have these in a couple of really good flavors. I'm going to let that sit for a second and work its way in and condition my lips. So I'm just going to use Revlon's Nude Attitude, which um, I bought this under the recommendation of Lauren is Okay. My lips weren't quite moisturized enough, as you can see, since I'm wearing a nude matte lipstick. And then I'm just using this end of the H&M Lip Gloss in Queen of Peach. Um, it is a close dupe for Turkish Delight, but it is still a little bit of a peachy color instead of a pinkish color. I need to do some blush. All of mine came off because I touched up my face. For blush, I just grabbed Max uh, Sheer Tone Blush in Instant Chic, and I'm just using my 168. And we're just going to put some of this on the apples. And then blend back. And that is our finished look. Um, if you guys have any questions about this, check the down bar below. Hopefully it will be answered by that. And if you still have questions, feel free to comment below. Hope you guys like it, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.